Hmm. Testing one, two, three. Theoretically, I am recording here. This is an attempt at recording a video of a successful test run of a Selectria UMOC 440F inverter hooked to a Selectria AC55 motor. This is a motor inverter combination that would have been used in uh, late 1990s, early 2000s electric small trucks, small buses, and a dual motor setup, and other such vehicles. I'm ultimately intending to put this in a Scion XB first generation. Anyway, I wanted to see if the machine would actually work before I went to all the trouble of building a car around it. So, what we've got here is a heavily jury-rigged, slightly mad science implementation of a bench test set up for it. Um, I guess we start with uh, the yellow extension cord there, which is standard issue 120 volt, 20 amp circuit from the house, running all the way over here somewhere up to that, which is an isolation transformer, basically for safety and also because the serial port over here on the inverter, which is talking to the computer, needs to be isolated somewhere, otherwise you get ground faults and other weird stuff. Anyway, that's the isolation transformer. Going over to this slight monstrosity, which is a bad boy charger for an electric car. Basically, it's a uh, high voltage unregulated DC power supply, which will go up to, well, way past that scale, which is pegged at 150, but really is closer to 250 volts with no load. So, the idea or the hope was I could get enough amps through that to spin up the motor down here under no load. So, output from this is running way back around here into the inverter, where the battery from the car would normally hook up, and obviously the motor, three phase AC, is hooked up there. So, the idea or hope is if I were to come over here and very, very carefully turn on a couple of switches. First turn on main contactor, you hear a clunk, put it in forward, and then over here very, very carefully, that's probably isn't going to be legible, but very, very carefully start turning up the throttle until it goes out of brake mode, which is about one third of the way up in the coast, and at 50% of the way up, it will go into drive. I need to be very careful because I turn it up too much. Then I'll pop my breaker. There goes the motor. In that fraction of a second, it went up to about 2,000 RPM. And that was about 1% of throttle. This motor is rated at about 100 horsepower to 175 foot-pounds from 0 to 3,000 RPM. So while it isn't really powerful, It'll be quite a lot for a smaller vehicle like a Scion. Let's see, there we go again. The motor is speeding up very slowly. That's probably about even. It works. So I'm hoping my other inverter works too. Uh, it seems to be complaining about a. Uh, power stage fault, but it is labeled damaged, but I noticed that there is a uh, slight wiring difference between the two, so I'm going to give that a try. Anyway, there's my scheme. I successfully ran the motor. I'm quite happy about that. Yay.